Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Big Stream Beta just released his brand new video player literally a day ago. Plenty to talk about, let me walk you through it. If you're new to the channel, hello to you. If not, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Big Screen Beta, who are the kings of VR cinema, have released a brand new video player which you can use inside of Big Screen. You don't have to download a separate app to make it work. There are a certain number of different formats that you can play, and basically after you've done the install or you have uploaded your app, all you have to do is go inside of Big Screen, then you'll see on your left-hand side a tab that is called New Announcements. All you then have to do is simply click on that, then go and click on the video file that is located in the panel, and boom, it will start to play automatically. In order to see your movies inside of the panel, all you have to do is plug in your Oculus Quest or whatever other headset you might be using, I guess, and you'll see that, well, for the Quest anyway, there is a folder called Movies. All you have to do is plug and plunk the movie inside of that folder and they will appear automatically in the big screen control panel. Now this makes it great of course to be able to view movies directly in big screen without having to create your own particular room that you can then have private for you or you have to share with others. It eliminates all that stuff which quite frankly is and can be annoying. But of course the question is why would you use the big screen one versus let's say Skybox. Well, I think Skybox is more geared towards the enterprise as you can hook up to your own internal server, something that you can't, I think, do yet with big screen. Now, of course, I wouldn't be doing a video if I didn't test it for a little while and I played a 3D movie and boy, was it awesome. You can control, of course, the volume. You can also change whether you want to put the subtitles on or off or to be honest I think it depends on the movie you download because when I tried putting the subtitles it didn't actually show the subtitles so I'm not quite sure what happened there. The other thing that I noticed different you know between the big screen video player and also the skybox one is you can't actually change the size of the screen or the position of where the screen is in relation to you. So you can't put it further away from you or you can't you know move it left and right. Now, perhaps you can, I just didn't figure out how to do it, or it's something that Big Screen will perhaps introduce later on. The 3D movie, when I played it, was absolutely crisp and sharp. I had no issues whatsoever, and I could also fast forward without any issues. It wouldn't lag, there was no waiting whatsoever. Everything was boom, boom, boom. And all the environments that are pre-built in Big Screen are compatible with the video player, so you can choose wherever you want to go. There's no issue about that. Other updates that they've done, they've also changed the UI a little bit. It looks much cleaner and easier to navigate. And there's tons more movies to rent. So do go and check out the other video I did, which was all about how to purchase a ticket so you can actually watch a movie in VR. All right, guys, well, that's it for the video player news of the big screen updates. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was useful. Remember to hit the like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away.